Hello and welcome to Putting in the Garden. Today we're going to describe how to build a water collection barrel. Uh, I needed this barrel for collecting hydroponic solution that I was done using, RO water, and water from my air conditioning uh, system that I have on my house. Now I needed this barrel because I wanted to be able to have slightly acidified water for watering my blueberries and hydrangeas. So this is the project. Let's get started. Let's start with the parts list. You will need a half inch PVC pipe at three feet long, a half inch threaded by slip coupler, a four inch length of half inch PVC pipe, an adapter slip by slip that goes from half inch to three quarter inch, and then an adapter that goes from three quarter inch to three quarter inch threaded. This particular adapter setup right here will allow me to connect some drip line to my watering barrel. Then you'll need, you can choose one of these two lengths, either a half inch long or a one inch long, and you need two of them, of half inch PVC pipe with threading on each end. Then you'll need a ball valve with thread by thread ends. Then you'll need a half inch PVC pipe at eight inches long. Then you will need a 90 degree elbow, it's half inch, slip by thread. Then you need a 90 degree elbow, half inch, slip by slip. Then you will need a coupler, half inch, slip by thread. Then you'll need your PVC glue, your PVC primer, some Teflon tape. These are four inch diameter caps to cover our access holes. And this here is a 5,500 gallon an hour submersible pond pump. And this will get the water out of our barrel and coming out our little adapter at the end there for watering our plants. And finally, the star of our show, a 55 gallon drum. Preferably, you want to make sure that it's food grade, and this is the one I've had here for a while, and I'm finally going to make use of it. Here are the tools needed for our project. You will need an electric drill, a 4 inch hole saw, a 1.5 inch hole saw, a PVC saw or cutter, a utility knife, some pliers, and a tape measure. We're going to start off this project by drilling our four inch access holes. You can see here I've already put one in and we're going to put one just off to the side of, of one of these uh, original uh, inlets and outlets for the barrel. And then the other one, we're going to drill through the center and take out this whole outlet here and put it in. You can also put yours off to the side up here if you wish and, and save these uh, original fittings to the barrel. So we go ahead and drill the, the last hole here and we'll see where we stand. Here we have our four inch access holes drilled out. As you can see here, our caps that we have fit snugly right into the access holes and they're sealed up. Next, we're going to work on the one and a half inch hole that our half inch PVC pipe will come out of to bring the water out of the barrel. Now, we just want it you know, somewhere halfway between these two uh, service uh, holes here that we put in. And you want to come maybe about four inches back in from the outside. So let's go ahead and I'll get the hole drilled here and, and uh, we'll go on to the next step. Now you can see that we have our one and a half inch hole drilled to feed the, the PVC pipe out of. 
Next, what I did is I came over and I had to get the pump fitted down through the four inch hole. Um, I had to carve out uh, a couple of the corners here because the pump was a little bit too large. And then I made a large notch here for the power cord. And when we set our cap back over, I didn't do too bad messing up my, my barrel. But uh, it's there. It's going to keep some debris out of there. And the cord nicely comes out. Now what we're going to do next, I'm going to dry fit uh, everything together so we can see how it's going to look. And then we'll start gluing up everything. Here you can see we did a dry fit of our system to see how everything's going to connect up before we finally glue the PVC. You can see down here, here's our 4 inch access hole. Here's where we brought out the cord here through the notch that I made. You can see here comes the half inch PVC. It comes up off the top of the barrel through the 90 degree elbow down our short length of PVC pipe through the other elbow. You can see here's our threaded fittings right here. Then we drop down to our ball valve, our threaded fittings here, and then here's our three quarter inch adapter for connecting up our drip line to it. Or using it to fill up a watering can to water things like our blueberries and our hydrangeas. Now we're gonna glue up our PVC fittings and then I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, threaded fittings Teflon taped and assemble this assembly here. And then I'll go ahead and get this assembled after it's glued. And then we'll uh, reassemble it to show you the final product. And here is a shot of our completed water collection barrel. Hopefully uh, you'll find a use for a project like this and build one of these too for your garden. Good luck and thanks for watching.